responsibility that comes along with them. So what happens when a rock legend decides to exercise his free speech and use assault rifles to help make a point? Take a look. You don't get that. Obama, he's a piece of shit, and I took the suck at my machine gun. What's he here for? And then I was in New York. I said, I said, hey, Hillary, you might want to ride one of these into the sunset, you worthless bitch. All right, look, I am no stranger to getting criticized when my words have been taken out of context and also being criticized when I deserve it because I stink sometimes. But that clip from the nudge just uh, seems a little hard to understand. You know, I, you know I'm, not, I'm not necessarily clear on his intent here. Uh, I know what he said, but why did he say it? Joining me now is musician and activist Ted Nugent. Hello, Ted. You're still mad at me from this morning, aren't you, Ted? Bottom line is, I think uh, your representation on the radio this morning, which, by the way, I'm not mad at you at all. I love you madly. Uh, you just don't seem to grasp what literally tens of millions of Americans do grasp, and that good rock and roll, the best rock and roll, especially Ted Nugent rock and roll, is over the top. It's intense. It's scary. It's uninhibited. It's even irreverent. And I'm not going to try to get a list from anybody of what they authorize me to say, because I draw the line at law. I'm not going to break the law. I'm not going to incite any illegal activities, and I'm not going to hurt anybody. Hey, Other look, than that, look, nothing is Ted, sacred. Ted, 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 listen to me. I'm not saying Glenn, you don't have yeah. a right. I don't say you don't have a right to say it. I'm not saying you did anything illegal. I, what I'm saying to you is the same thing that I would say to, I hate to compare you to this, but a porn producer. You have a right to make... Ah! You have a right to make any kind of porn you want. You have a responsibility not to. My problem is, if you would have held the gun up and said, hey, Michael Bloomberg, freedom! If you would have done that, it wouldn't have had a problem. But you're combining the gun with saying, Hillary Clinton, suck on this. If, if Barbara Streisand would have done that at her concert, which, I mean, I... I wouldn't know she might have already done that. I don't know anybody that goes to Barbara Streisand concerts. If she would have done it, I would have taken a hard stand against her and say, you don't say that about the president or whatever, no matter how much you dislike him. It's the imagery, God, and it's the responsibility not to. God bless you, Glenn, but I'm not going to write down the Glenn Black authorized rock and roll I'm rants. Not saying I'm going to go with. I, I know, but you're giving me a recommendation, and to compare my show to porn is irresponsible and grossly Did inaccurate. Did I not on your say part. that I wasn't comparing? I just said I'm not comparing. Well, that them. reference was off the charts, my friend. You know, I I I, I have to tell you, I um, uh, my listeners uh, wrote and they called in after your appearance on my radio program today, and you can get the newsletter uh, today if you want get the full transcript and read it or hear it uh, they were split half praise for thank you for saying what you mean and meaning what you say and just doing it and forgetting about all the PC crap and the other side saying you know what I don't want a crazy Rosie O'Donnell on our side you're so good at making a decent point on guns you don't need to have this footage out there of somebody looking like they're they're threatening a candidate with an with an assault rifle it's irresponsible and Ted. i i understand that line drawn in the sand but i got to tell you glenn it's a stream of consciousness when i'm rocking and rolling it yeah, is uninhibited it is it is irreverent crap. and you're mi you you're know. missing the point why don't you admit it glenn it's too intense for you but it i is... meant no harm no harm occurred <laughs> no one got hurt Look. no threats were made and everybody there had a great time it's i'm not funny. saying that i'm not saying that ted look uh, uh, I would be irresponsible and I would be less consistent. I would take on the left if they did something like this to George Bush, etc. And I'm going to take you on because I feel the same way. It's right and wrong, not left and right. The second thing is, um, you know, the, the, the idea that you can say that this is just ad-libbed, well, you, you told me today, you're still doing this piece and you've turned it up at the end of every show all the way through this weekend. Because the tour gets more intense as it rolls on and the audience's response is intoxicating. The people get a great laugh out of it. The laughter is universal, Glenn. You're right. Half of my emailers at tednugent.com said that Glenn doesn't get it. The other half said, God bless Glenn Beck for at least facilitating a dialogue. And I send you a salute for that my, myself. <laughs> you are just amazing. Let me ask and, you and that. Glenn, you may, have I, to, may I have the yeah. final word? All right, go ahead. I, I just wanted to say... 
that I do appreciate the opportunity, but you made a gross miscalculation after the radio show. Someone emailed me your words that you thought I was putting on a front. You know, I love you, but you're not worth me putting on a front. I put on a front for nobody. This is Ted Nugent. I'm not grandstanding. I'm I not an said, actor. You, you I took, believe you, you said you took you said that I out of context. You, you took it out of context. You well, said to whoa. me. You said to me that you do things on stage that are just crazy that you wouldn't do elsewhere. That's the difference. Yes. That's the difference. Ted, thanks a lot. And we'll the talk show, to you again. but not here with you. God <laughs> yeah, bless you. All right, God bless you. On tomorrow's program, I'm going to have an update on President Bush's new tough talk on Iran's oppressive.